Hey YouTubers, good afternoon. Got my uh, business permit approved. Got my business permit finally printed off. It was already approved, but I got something to put up on my wall now over at the Mara Toys and Games. Anyways, I wanna ask you guys something. I wanna know what you guys think about this one. So I got an email from somebody, and it's a really interesting story. And they asked me to keep it very personal but vague and tell the story. Okay, Will. Wills, last will and testament. If there's a will, there's a way, right? No, a will, last will and testament. What's happening with wills and testaments? Well, apparently, the federal government is going in and dictating how to basically divide the spoils. Now, I got a story for you guys. Um, husband and wife, okay, taking care of the husband's mother in the mother's house. The will specified whoever takes care of me until death um, will be uh, will inherit my my house and my whatever belongings. The husband and the wife. Okay, so the husband has two sisters. Now the two sisters have fought to get a part a piece of the inheritance, but the Canadian government is in, in getting involved in it and meddling with someone's last will and testament and stating that they should get uh, a percentage of this because they're female or they're women. That's what the email specifically said. And I'm like, what? Okay. Last will and testament, you know, some of them are sentimental. Some of those last will and testaments are depressing and sad to read. And, you know, it's personal. It's bedroom. It's bedroom talk. It has nothing to do with the federal government and the federal government going into people's bank accounts, right? So the email was kind of short and sweet and it went to the point that should, like, is this fair? Why Why is the federal government meddling with wills or last will and testaments? So the two sisters are getting a bigger percentage of the pie now than what the guy's getting. That took care of the mother right to the end. It took care of her, did all the chores. They specifically said chores around the house. Took care of the house, maintained, paid the property tax. Took care of everything. And everything was done as 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 in, instructed by the mother. The other two sisters didn't didn't, don't even live, I think, in the same province as him. One does, but way out of the way. Way, I'm talking like two, three hour drive away. And the other sister lives in Manitoba. But the mother specifically said in the will that that it's only for the children that assist her to go to the doctor. And what was the other thing they did? Uh, once a week they had to go with kid, some kidney thing, analysis, kid, uh, kidney flesh or something. You know what I'm saying, right? Dialysis, right? So that is weird. So. In concrete, it's written and stated, and the I mean, the proof is there that the son obviously was there taking care of the mom for, I don't know, how seven years since she got really sick and couldn't, had troubles getting out of bed. So he took care of her for seven years, her and the wife, and they didn't do it out of, hey, we're going to get a free house out of this. They did it because it's their mother. My dad's severely sick right now. And I've been by his side most of the day, back and forth, running errands. And now I'm going to go sit beside him for a little while longer. And my dad asked me, he goes, please, please, his last, pretty much his last, like, stated words to me that is, that's, that's understandable was, Mike, please take care of your mother. And I'm like, don't worry. My, my, my mom is, she has nothing to worry about. Zero, Right. She has a place with the, with the family. We're all family. I'm the only child, and, and she has her three grandkids. So, you see, like, things like that. And that's what he's asking me to do. No problem, Daddy. You know what I'm saying? But when there's a will and testament and bedroom discussion, how the heck does the federal government jump, or even provincial or municipal, be allowed to jump in? And, and give their two cents and, and basically 
legally, or not legally, illegally, reword the will in a way so that the other sisters could get it, and because they are female, they should be getting an assistance. Guys, it's getting, things are changing, and it's changing in little microscopic case-by-case -case scenario. Comment below. And bank accounts, too. Federal government passed a law to find out what Canadians have in their bank accounts. I don't think the government... What, what for? Why? Anyways, comment below. I'd like to know what you guys think in this. Does the government have a place in our bedrooms and in our bank accounts? Canadian government. Let me know. How was it in Australia and New Zealand? Could they do that? In the U.S.? I know they can't. I think they can. I don't know. Comment below. I'm home.